Hello guys. Okay, no, that's not the way how I start. God bless everyone. How is everyone doing on this wonderful blessing day? I hope everyone is fine. I hope everyone is safe. And welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about quarantine. All right. So I always say quarantine, although I know it's not that way how you guys say it, but I always use that word. I know you guys say quarantine. But I always have difficulties on saying it. I don't know why. So I always do say quarantine. So if you guys hear me say quarantine, you already know why, okay? But I would try my best to say the way it is. Anyways, y'all, today I want to tell you guys and show you guys what I do to have a blessed and a beneficial, um, beneficial or benef okay how to have a great quarantine so usually what i do guys is i use this planner from um school today is april 15. um so what i do is okay i'm going to write down on april 16th because on the 15th um i already have jot down some stuff from yesterday i timed my whole day okay i plan it out i do a whole calendar for my entire day so i could have something to do because i know many people are probably home right now bored they don't even know what to do anymore and you know i should have done this sooner but unfortunately i didn't so but now i feel like really doing it anyways guys so this is what i do i have online class at 10 a.m today is wednesday i have class at 10 a.m so what i like to do is i like to write down okay so i have class at 10 a.m And I like to sleep at least seven or eight hours, but I always choose to sleep eight hours. Guys, it's important for you guys to sleep at least seven to eight hours. Do not oversleep. Do not oversleep because it's not good. It's just going to make you guys tired and you guys are just not going to have energy. You guys are just going to be lazy the whole entire day. So make sure you guys sleep at least eight to seven hours. No more than that. Seven to eight hours. Okay, no more than that. And that is what I always do because when I always sleep, I am just super, super lazy. My energy leaves and, you know, just stuff like that happens. And if I don't sleep enough, then I'm just like so sleepy and same thing happens. I'm lazy, I'm tired, I do not want to do anything. I have class at 10 a.m. So what does that mean? That means I have to sleep. If I go to sleep at 2 a.m., that means I only have two hours, not two hours. That means I only get to sleep seven hours. But if I go to sleep at 1 a.m., then that means I get to sleep for eight hours. So what I do is, okay, then I put down sleep. What time I slept yesterday? You see, I don't even, okay, yesterday night, I slept at 12 a.m. All right, I slept at 12 a.m. And I woke up at 9 a.m. And then when I wake up at that time, I go, I mean, I start my prayer. Remember, guys, pray every single morning, all right? Pray in the morning is very important. That's how you guys, that is the best way to start your day, by praying in the morning. And I spoke about this on my last video, and I told you guys how important it is to pray. So in the morning, I pray for at least 15 minutes. At least 15 minutes, guys. At least 15 minutes. So I pray for at least 15 minutes and then I go shower and then, you know, I brush my teeth. I wash my everything. I do everything. So I do all of this super quick. I do this um, in 30 minutes. So 15 minutes I pray and then I go shower 15 minutes. So that's already, that's already 930. And then I go eat breakfast. It's important to eat breakfast early in the morning, guys. So I eat breakfast and then I get ready and everything, you know my books my pencil my notebook whatever i have to get ready so i can begin this class and then once it's 10 a.m i already begin class and my class ends at 11 45 so i even jot it down 11 45 and what i do after that okay so once my class ends at 11 45 um usually i like to stay a little bit like 10 minutes i usually am staying to 12 p.m speaking to like my professor in case like there's like um any homework that you know I have questions for so i would say at 12 p.m right so 12 p.m i have only until let me see tomorrow is tomorrow's thursday tomorrow i do not have class i do not have classes on thursdays so what i do is tomorrow i mean i can wake up at any time but you know what guys it's not good to wake up late it's not good so okay so that means all right tomorrow i want to wake up at tomorrow actually i want to wake up at the same time i woke up today 
so I was put down that I have only until I have only until 1 1 1 a.m. Okay. So from 12 p.m. all the way to 1 a.m. that's a lot of time. And this is what I like to do. So from 12 p.m. Okay, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and then I go writing down like that all all the time. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. She brought me a smoothie. Mm. This is really good. So guys, I already had jot down everything. Me, me, meanwhile, my mom was here. I was jotting down, so you know I, I could, um, I could not be wasting a lot of time. And I have everything. So from, so after my class is over and everything is 12 p.m. So I have from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and then 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. and all that in, until. 1 a.m. in the morning and this is the way how I plan everything out okay so from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. let me see what am I going to do all right so I like to put all right I like to put God first God comes first than anything anything else so what I like to do is read read God's Word so I like to read honestly this just quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. It has made me so good because I became closer to God. And, you know, I had more time to pray, more time to read. And this time, and I've really, really, like, made um, a lot of, like, as you guys could tell, I made a lot of um, notes. So I was able to do a lot of um, study. And, yeah, by the way, I'm trying to read the whole entire Bible. So this was the perfect time to begin. And right now I am up to I am right up to Exodus I am up to Exodus 12 okay so but then uh, it's taking me quite um, long because I decided to like once I was done Exodus like I was continue reading but then guys like I was just like I, I'm not understanding like I'm not there's you know if you guys begin reading the Bible you guys probably won't be able to understand some things from there so just take your time and then I had to go back honestly I had to go back I was like no I'm not going to rush th I'm not going to rush through this although I really really want to finish reading the whole entire thing because look at how much I have left all of this is how much I have left to read and this is how much I already read so I had to go back because I couldn't just continue continue reading because then it just like I just felt like you know what am I really learning like I'm just reading right so I had to go back and then I had to jot down and make some notes you know to understand and you know like study it really good and guys i actually learned quite a thing so i really do recommend you guys to read the bible you know because it's it does you good it really does you good when you read you have this peace like you begin like feeling so so good like you're just like wow like and i promise you this no book in the world will ever have you feeling this way because whenever i read any other book and i'm just reading and i'm like okay okay or if, even though even if it's a really good book okay i'm reading i'm like wow or like i'm just like you know wow this book is really good and stuff but there is a no there is no other book that will that will just like i don't even know how, how to describe it because it's that good like it's really that good i'm not i'm not lying to you guys like try try it try it and it's really good guys you guys learn in here if you guys have any questions about like the bible or, or something like that you will find all your all your answers oh my you'll find all your answers in here you know whatever you guys may have questions or concerns like if you guys are probably confused if you guys are like does god really exist what does God say or, or what does whatever question you guys have you guys will find it in the Bible and if you guys read you guys will understand you guys will understand everything everything okay guys so I like to read I like to read so I read for at least an hour okay so from 12 to 1 I read the Bible and sometimes there are times where guys one hour is not enough for me so I like to you know I like to I, I usually go to up to two or maybe three hours, okay? But let's just leave it right there for every one hour, okay? So from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., what I do like to do next is I like to... Um, okay, usually at that time, it's already lunch. 
So I will eat lunch and I eat for an hour, y'all. It takes me one hour to eat. So I eat lunch after that. And then after that, I come and I do homework. I have a lot of homework, guys. So I do homework for at least three hours. So until that time, it's already five, it's already 5 p.m. And then from 6 to 7 p.m., that's another hour, I like to take a break. And what I do in my break, guys, I don't really like watching TV, so I don't do that whole movies thing or TV thing. I, I, don't, I don't do that. So what I like to do is I like to do cardio. I, I, I love to do cardio. And I just go in and I run because I, um, I have a treadmill at home. So I, you know, I'll be there for like at least an hour. So I do cardio. And it's already 7 p.m. So... Wow. Five to six. Five to six, six to seven. Okay. So from there it's already after I'm done it's already six PM, right? And at six PM to seven PM, alright, that's um that's the time that I eat dinner. So I'm already eating dinner at that time. And once I'm done, I take an hour, um, like an hour of doing some activity. For example, I would do like the activity that I would do from 7 to 8 p.m., okay? I would do, let me show you guys what I began doing. So I'm not really going to show you guys her face because everyone in my house says that she looks scary. <laughs> but look guys, I began learning how to box braid. So it's already like half of her hair that I already box braided. As you guys can see, it's already half of her hair that is box braid. I didn't finish the ends because I just felt like it was a, like I was just very eager to just you know have the how you say this just have the braids done up here. But I don't know if I will finish or not. So you see, guys, this is what I began doing. Usually it takes like from a whole roll like this. Usually it takes one hour. It's, it's it's crazy to think about it, and it may not seem like it, but it does. It does take like an hour, so I like to do that. I like to continue, so I do um, the box breaks, right? And then from 8 to 9 p.m., what I like to do is I like to check my Blackboard for, you know, in case any, or like my emails, my mail. So like in case there's emails from like professors, in case there is any homework, anything due. So I check that for an hour. It takes me an hour, you know. So I do that for an hour. And then from... And then from 9 to 10 p.m., okay, 9 from 10 p.m., what I like to do, oh, by the way, I haven't, um, all right. <laughs> so after that box break, I missed that one out. Um, I wait an hour because, you know, I wait for, like, the food <laughs> because I be, like, full, so I wait for the food to come down, I would say. And from 8 to 9, I go shower. I like taking um, long showers, so I go shower, all right. And then from 9 to 10, and, you know, I come out the shower and everything, um, and then from 9 to 10, okay, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to lie, but in here from like an hour, I do be on my phone, you know, just in case like somebody texted me or, you know, any missed calls or like, you know, like, I'll be on my phone. So I check my phone, okay, so I'll be on my phone. And then from 10 to 11, although throughout the day, I do, you know, go on my phone here and there, but I really try my best not to be too much on my phone. So from 10 to 11 p.m., that's when I check my blackboard. And then from 11 to 12 a.m., I like to get ready, get ready to go to sleep because you know it's already my day is already almost over. So I like to get ready to go to sleep, and it takes me it does take me an hour, and I'm already asleep at 1 a.m. You know, so the way how I get ready to sleep once again, I you know go not go shower, I go um brush my teeth, I go wash my face, anything I have to do, and then again I have to pray and then I go to sleep. Right. So with you guys, when you guys and if you guys are probably like, okay, but I don't have that much to do like how you do, guys. If you guys find a hobby or if you guys begin reading the Bible, you guys will be so so entertained that you guys may not want to stop. So that is what sometimes. So let's say if my plans were to. Okay, let's say if my plans were to to do the box braids, right? So let's say if I'm just like, wait, but I don't feel like doing the box braids. I feel like I can't finishing off whatever story I was studying. So if I come back and I finish whatever, there you guys are probably not going to even follow exactly 
your your schedule because there will be things that you guys will find interest on and you guys will probably be like okay now it's time for this but wait i don't want to do that i want to continue doing this then that's great because you guys are spending you know good time on doing something you know then sleeping then being bored and watching movies and like doing repeating the same thing that you guys did yesterday so and every day i like to do different things like for example to, uh, today if i want to do box break then tomorrow i do paintings and for example for like the bible if today i want to study one story then tomorrow i finish studying and then the next day i study another new story from here you know so i do that and you guys could do that too and you know things will sometimes even my schedule switch, switches up because i'm like okay right now i am supposed to be doing homework but i already finished all my homework so there isn't anything else to do so let me just look at something else and i'm like oh you know what let me just go back again and read the bible or let me look now at my phone and maybe later on the night i i could probably do something else like paint because i like painting so you know i switch up things sometimes like that and that is the that is how you guys do it this is the way how usually my my planning looks like i don't want you guys to see closely but um this is how it's sometimes sometimes it's all over the place like i write all over the place just in case i miss something but as you guys can see here you see i wrote down sleep at 12 a.m and then i put down that i wake up at 10 a.m for i mean i wake up at um wait 9 a.m right here so 1 a.m it's not anymore i think so that i wake up at 9 a.m to get ready and everything and then i have class at 10 a.m and then i dropped i put down arrows 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 and then um you see from 11 to 12 p.m i'm done and then i jot down 12 to 1 p.m 1 p.m to 2 p.m 2 p.m to 3 p.m 3 p.m to 4 like that and like that and then on the side for example put read i just put b for bible so read bible um and then here lunch homework homework so that's the way how i do it and, and i recommend you guys do the same thing it's going to help you guys so you guys don't get bored so you guys don't you know waste your time doing um useless things and once this quarantine is over you guys will be like wow i did a lot and i feel great about it i feel really good about this um you know so you just like wow i just things things feel good you know and um, you guys will feel good you guys will be you guys will be very proud that you guys probably like accomplished new goals on um, new hobbies you guys found, found new hobbies for example with my with my mannequin i felt really good doing do, you know learning how to do this although it's probably not the way how you do it how you box break but how i said i'm just a beginner i'm learning i'm trying to learn so you know i'm learning right and i actually felt really good about that so you guys will also feel great about this do this guys find a book it does not need to be a planner it could just be anything anything else any other book it no matter what it is and guys once again read read your bible or read a bible if you guys do not have a bible just in case you guys are like oh but i don't have a bible so let me know let me know. I will do a Bible giveaway if I have to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys, you know, really enjoyed this video. And if you guys liked it, you guys could give it a thumbs up. If not, then I don't mind. You know, just be honest. And I am very humble. And God bless you all. Stay, stay safe. Stay positive. And always, always keep a smile on your face. Bye. Sometimes. Seeing